What surprising limitation of transformers did the recent theoretical work reveal? The recent theoretical work revealed a surprising limitation of transformers. They are incapable of expressing inherently sequential computation. This limitation means that transformers cannot handle simple state tracking problems, such as composing sequences of permutations, which even simple recurrent neural networks, RNNs, can naturally express. The work showed that transformers, along with linear and Mamba-style state space models, SSMs, cannot learn to compose permutations with a fixed number of layers, while RNNs can do so with just one layer. This limitation implies that transformers and SSMs are not equipped for state tracking and recurrent computation, contradicting the belief that SSMs have an advantage over transformers in terms of being more recurrent or capable of tracking state. The theoretical analysis demonstrated that transformers and SSMs are limited in their ability to solve inherently sequential problems, including state tracking problems like permutation composition. How do linear and Mamba-style SSMs differ from transformers in terms of solving sequential problems like composing permutations? Linear and Mamba-style SSMs, like transformers, cannot solve inherently sequential problems such as composing permutations. The theoretical analysis and empirical experiments conducted in the paper demonstrate that both linear and Mamba style SSMs struggle to learn to compose permutations with a fixed number of layers, while simple RNNs can easily accomplish this task with just one layer. The paper establishes that linear and Mamba style SSMs, similar to transformers, are limited in their ability to express inherently sequential problems, including state tracking problems like composing permutations. This implies that arguments suggesting SSMs have an advantage over transformers in terms of being more recurrent or capable of tracking state are misguided. The theoretical weakness of linear SSMs and near generalizations is proven by showing they are in the complexity class 5 number 5, uniform 2 number 2, which has also been shown for transformers, indicating that these SSMs cannot solve inherently sequential problems including state tracking problems like permutation composition. In essence, linear and Mamba-style SSMs share the same limitations as transformers when it comes to solving sequential problems like composing permutations. Can SSMs express solutions to problems in the class 2 number 2, according to the paper? According to the paper, SSMs, including linear and Mamba-style SSMs, cannot express solutions to problems outside the complexity class 2 number 2. The paper establishes that SSMs, like transformers, are limited in their expressive power and cannot solve inherently sequential problems, including state tracking problems like composing permutations. The theoretical analysis presented in the paper proves that SSMs, despite their seemingly stateful design, are constrained to solutions within the class 2 number 2 which limits their ability to handle complex state, tracking tasks such as evaluating Boolean formulas or graph connectivity. Therefore, based on the findings and proofs outlined in the paper, SSMs cannot express solutions to problems outside the class 2 number 2, indicating a fundamental limitation in their expressive power for handling certain types of sequential and state tracking problems. How do linear SSMs and S6 models differ in terms of their structure and operations? Linear SSMs and S6 models differ in terms of their structure and operations in the following ways. 1. Structure. Linear SSMs consist of state space layers that define a new sequence of states using learned parameter matrices and affine projections. On the other hand, S6 models generalize linear SSMs by adding a selection mechanism inspired by dynamic gating in LSTMs and GRUs. The S6 layer is parameterized by a diagonal matrix, a vector, and affine projections, making it more complex than the linear SSM layer. 2. Operations. In linear SSMs, the convolutional form of the layer defines the new sequence of states as a summation of terms, while S6 models compute an iterated product of matrices. Linear SSMs use matrix powering to compute the convolutional form, while S6 models involve iterated scalar multiplication due to the diagonal matrix parameterization. 
3. Expressive power. Despite their differences in structure and operations, both linear SSMs and S6 models share the limitation of being unable to solve inherently sequential problems beyond the complexity, class 2 number 2. This means that both types of SSMs, like transformers, cannot solve 6 number 6 hard problems such as evaluating Boolean formulas or graph connectivity, showcasing their theoretical limitations in state tracking and recurrence. What are the limitations of SSMs in solving state tracking problems based on the paper? The limitations of SSMs in solving state tracking problems, as outlined in the paper, are that SSMs, specifically linear and Mamba-style SSMs, are unable to express inherently sequential problems, including state tracking problems like composing permutations. The paper proves theoretically that SSMs, like transformers, are limited in their expressive power and cannot solve problems outside the complexity class 2 number 2. This means that SSMs, despite their appearance of recurrence and statefulness, cannot solve 6 number 6 hard problems such as evaluating Boolean formulas or graph connectivity. In particular, SSMs are unable to compose permutations as demonstrated by their inability to solve the 3 number 3 word problem. The paper shows that while RNNs can easily express permutation composition with just one layer, SSMs struggle to do so even with multiple layers. Additionally, the paper highlights that SSMs cannot simulate true recurrent models in a realistic setting with a bounded number of layers, indicating that SSMs have limitations in state tracking and recurrence compared to RNNs. What are the proposed extensions to SSMs to increase their expressive power for state tracking according to the paper? The proposed extensions to SSMs to increase their expressive power for state tracking according to the paper are through the addition of nonlinearity and input dependent transition matrices. The first extension involves adding a nonlinearity to the SSM architecture to make it more like an RNN creating an RNN SSM layer with a step activation function. This modification allows the SSM to have a recurrent form that is effectively an RNN, enabling it to solve complex state tracking problems like the 3 number 3 word problem. The second extension introduces input-dependent transition matrices to the SSM, transforming it into a weighted finite automaton WFA SSM layer. By allowing the matrix to be input-dependent, the SSM gains greater expressive power beyond the limitations of 2 number 2 complexity class, enabling it to recognize regular languages such as the word problem for 3 number 3. These extensions aim to bridge the gap in expressive power between SSMs and true recurrent models like RNNs, enhancing the SSM's ability to handle challenging state tracking tasks.